the final act. Eleven Asian elephants dressed in glitter trundle in unison one last time. These routines have entertained circus audiences across the United States since the 1800s. Now the elephants are being retired from the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus. There's been such a change in the legislative landscape around the country, um, and there's also been, you know, a mood shift um, among our consumers as well. Um, and some of, you know, some of our audiences aren't comfortable uh, with us touring elephants. And, you know, with legislation that's come up, it makes it difficult to not have consistency week in and week out. The jumbos have been a fixture of the Ringling Show, but criticism of performing animals is roaring louder. Even Ringling's decision to move the performing elephants to its conservation centre worries some campaigners. This right here is actually a bullhook. This is the weapon that they use uh, to beat elephants uh, at their conservation centre and also on the road. Um, them retiring the elephants to uh, their prison camp in Florida has been a big win for us, but we're not going to stop then. Animal rights groups say elephants suffer emotional and physical stress in the tourism industry. One elephant collapsed and died carrying tourists last month at Angkor Wat Temple in Cambodia. The rise in public awareness is putting pressure on companies to better treat the animals. So it's one last dance for elephants in this big top. But animal acts continue in at least a dozen other circuses across the United States and many more worldwide. Gerald Tan, Al Jazeera.